Hi, it's Kia with Bippity Boppity Ba Bam, and I am unboxing my Mary Kay MK Glam Fox Box, courtesy of Influencer.com, and I want to show you what was included in my third Vox Box from Influencer. So the first thing, um, I want to show you, this box is gorgeous, but this is the inside of the lid of the box box. It says, hello gorgeous, hola Bella. And I'm like, hey. <laughs> so the first thing I wanted to show you is the Mary Kay Translucent Loose Powder. It's retail price about $16. And basically what it does, it helps control um, shine throughout the day. Um, and included with, it comes with its brush, a brush. And it says Mary Kay, so that's really cool. Um, and it is sheer and translucent, so it works on all different types of skin tones and colors. The next thing that I'm going to show you is the Mary Kay Bronzing Powder. The retail price is $18, and it creates a natural-looking sun-kissed glow, um, which I think a lot of people in Florida really like to have to go with their tans that they get. I have my natural tan, so um, I don't need it quite as much, but I do like to wear an occasional bronzer once, once in a while. The next thing that we have is the Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara, and it's I Heart Black. Retail price is 15 bucks, and it's mascara that defines, defends, and delivers four times the volume. We also have the Mary Kay Mineral Cheek Color Shy Blush. Retail price is $12 and it's Stay True Color Defines Cheekbones. We also have the Mary Kay Gel Eyeliner with Expandable Brush Applicator in Jet Black and it's retail price is $18. It's a versatile eyeliner with intense color payoff. And here is the Expandable Applicator Brush and I want to show you this really quickly. It's a tiny little brush here, but you can just put the, the cap on and it gives it a little bit extended, but you can still use it with a shortened version if you, you choose to. We also have our Mary Kay Cream Eye Color and Concealer Brush. Its retail price is 10 bucks, and it's the perfect brush for applying any cream product, which leads me to the Mary Kay Cream Eye Color in Apricot. It's a really pretty color. It's kind of shimmery, a little bit of uh, shimmer color in here. Um, and it's Apricot Twist. It's soft, creamy, long-wearing formula, and the retail price is $14. And last but not least is the Mary Kay Nourish Shine Plus Lip Gloss in Mango Tango. And the retail price is $14. It's rich, intense, long-wearing shades of Mango Tango. And I think it's perfect for this time of year, going into summer. Um, being out here in Florida, we like our bright colors, especially those in South Florida. But I'll give you a little bit of um, tip regarding this. If you have really sensitive skin, um, or if you've had past reactions to lip color, lip glosses, I don't recommend you trying this on your face. Um, I actually tried this and had a very bad reaction to this particular um, lip gloss and I think it's sometimes the plumping um, ingredients they add in here to make your lips a little bit more plump. The color was gorgeous. I actually liked it on my skin tone, um, but I suffered for about a week <laughs> with um, an allergic reaction to this lip color. So just be cautious. Um, I've never had a lot of experience using Mary Kay lip glosses. I've always used things that I've known have been safe for me to use and usually um, Birch Bees is something I would use and that has minimum color in it but this is very colorful um, I don't know if it's the color or the dye or anything that they've included in here but I had a very bad reaction to it um, for about a week so I'm still recovering from it but it's a really pretty color and if you don't have any issues with lip glosses I recommend you giving this a try and I want to show you my arm I've put all the colors that I could on my arm this is the bronzing powder this is the cheek color. Um, this is the apricot eye color here in the middle of my arm. This is actually the lip gloss. And I don't have reactions to lip gloss when I put it on my arms or on my hand to try it. But it's not until I actually apply it to my lip that I can notice where I start to get tingling and um, blisters and things like that. 
and this is the eyeliner, the cream eyeliner. So I wanted to show you the colors and how they actually came out on my skin. And I think they are relatively pretty. Um, if it wasn't for, you know, the reaction to the lip gloss, I would probably wear that for a while, especially on Friday nights going out or spending time on the weekends. But these are the colors on my arm, so I wanted to show you. Okay, so this is all the Mary Kay products on my face, minus the lip gloss, because remember I mentioned that I had a reaction to the lip gloss, but I did apply and use everything from the from the mascara to the cream eyeliner to the blush and the translucent powder. I just applied my own regular lip gloss um, that I would normally use that does not give me a reaction. So I just wanted to show you the finishing products. I really love what um, the color of the apricot color cream eyeshadow did with my eyes. I thought it was fun. It kind of matched my shimmery top, so I thought it was perfect. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy my first YouTube makeup video blog. Um, and check me out on kiacoleman.wordpress.com to see more tips about fashion and makeup. Bye.